Lord Jesus, God bless you today. Thank you for choosing our place of worship to be your place of worship today. Murphy, stand and give the Lord a song. One, two. Give it again together. One, two. Hallelujah. Who will hands are like it? Praise the Lord Jesus. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. It's men's Sunday. I won't be here very long. It's men's president will be coming. And I want you to hear a word. Praise God. Yesterday, one of our, one of our men, yes, and in my talk right now. Well, uh, birthday. Birthday, that's what we have Brother Ricardo had his birthday yesterday. One, two, three, church, church, oh, sister kid. Happy birthday.
Middle East. And when we talk about the Middle East, we talking about Iraq, Iran, and various countries together. Praise God. But there's no country called the Middle East. It's just a number of countries together that is called that. So there are various countries that came together against one set of people in order for God to send a message. You see, God is going to allow us to go through something until we learn what he's saying. There are many times we get so used to God delivering us that we tend to miss what God is saying because we become so spoiled and depending on God to show up even when we are not keeping our end of the bargain. Sometimes we tend to look at God as you know children that irrespective of how spoiled they are, irrespective of how wrong they are, they expect mommy and daddy to still be there for them. They will not have any manners. They will not have any respect. But they must still go home expecting them of God Almighty. Expecting dinner to still be prepared. And when they're done, they want something to drink. Praise God. When they're finished, they want to go into their beds and pop big belts and lay down and relax, irrespective of the fact that they're not sweep up the yard. They won't even throw away the trash. They won't even wash the dishes. Praise God. So there is an expectation that comes with a spoiled mentality. But God allows. Israel to stay and their enemies would constantly persecute them. God is going to keep you going through something until you get the message. God is going to keep you being tested until you get the direction that God is going in. And I talk to the church but God caused the nation of Israel to fear severe persecution they will come in and they will kill them after 40 years. And I talk to the church for 40 years. The church of Israel, they were under persecution because they were worshiping false gods out of everything. When you see the world at the you can do. Out of every dressing, when the world at the you can dress too. Out of every song, when the world at the Realize 
in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. for the remission of sins, and you too Hallelujah. shall receive the gift of the Lord. Put your hands together. You know what to do. You know what to do. You know what to do. Take me from the mood and put me in a head. 